Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about a modern deck tech, Tron. So Tron refers to the Urza Tron land, which can produce quite a bit of mana if you get all of them. Now, when you have all this mana that fast, what are you going to play? You're going to play Khan Liberated, or a lot of decks are starting to play Ugin now, but Ugin is a one of. Khan Liberated is generally a four of. So Khan Liberated is a very good card to get out extremely fast. Now, Tron kind of is like a combo deck, but the the end goal is to get a Karn Liberated on the field. Once Karn Liberated is on the field, you pretty much win the game. I mean, it's very difficult for your opponent to get any type of advantage, especially if you have multiple Karn Liberated or Ugins in your hand. If they get rid of one, that's fine. I'll just play another one. And that's not the scenario that you would want to be on across I guess. Now the Tron comes from Urza's Tower, Urza's Mine, Urza's Power Plant. Uh, these cards will all not reprinted but luckily they are very cheap and there's been reprinted, uh, it's not been reprinted in Modern Masters 2015 I meant but it has been reprinted to Oblivion in many other sets. So the goal is to go ahead grab these lands play corn liberated or play a eye of ugin search for a eons torn and do just crazy stuff uh, the idea is to filter with chromatic star and chromatic spear and each of these as well as the additional land slots and i play fetch lands in my deck uh, it does operate like a combo piece uh, you do have the ability to play cards like Oblivion Stone, which is very useful against aggro or against any card any deck really remember your deck is very fragile uh, when i mean fragile i mean that it's going to get beat down very badly in the beginning and it's not going to really interact with your opponent at all so the cards that you definitely have to play is you got to play the towers the mines and the power plants you play Growth of the Burn Whitlows. Uh, that card is very, very good in this deck. Life gain, again, doesn't matter because if you're beating them down with Karn Liberated or Ugin, uh, it is unlikely they can recover from that. The Growth of the Burn Widow Willows um, acts pretty much like a tagger that's really not no reason not to play the card it allows you to dip into both green and red so you will also play four expedient maps again to get your tower mine or power plant whatever piece is missing in your sylvian scrying uh, again this is to search out so you have land tutors which should help you get the tower mine power plant once those cards are up you're just going to play huge card after huge card a lot of times you can use a adrazi to win this game because uh, you just have that many uh, mana not that many mana sources but you, your mana sources produce that much mana that it's like crazy so you can also use ancient sterlings uh the idea is to go ahead i mean it's a very simple concept find these lands play these lands and from that point on play all your big cards again corn liberated is one of the best cards his plus four i mean he goes up to 10 on turn three or four consistently having a con liberty go up to 10 i don't know how many opponents can respond to that or i mean let's say he goes down and you just exile a permanent and you can double exile and hey i have a nugan later uh the deck is extremely fun to play with very versatile uh but the basis of the deck obviously are the 12 lands and then cards that can get those 12 lands into play and then these colorless very big creature types or planeswalkers uh ugin does seem like a very good addition to it ugin does represent a different avenue to win the game so i like it a lot